from M to Mat. Welcome, Peter. Bye, Lord. Welcome. I want to speak to you from the subject of having a greater mindset. Having a greater mindset. You know, a lot of us have got a limited mindset. A lot of us have got a limited mindset. If God should move, and God wants to move in our lives, do we have the mindset to actually think on the level of which God is moving or what God is doing? Now, this is so vital when it comes to prayer because when it comes to prayer, we have to approach God by faith. And if we approach God by faith, we need to understand how faith works. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. So we all here tonight by faith. All of us have gathered together to pray by faith. We are praying and we are trusting God for things we've not yet seen, but we've got a conviction on the inside that it will come to pass that God will hear us. Now, the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. Now, who of you are trusting God for breakthrough? Okay. Who of you are trusting God to move in your life? And when I speak about a move of God, I'm not just speaking about revival where we see the church full and we see people coming from all over to come to the church. I'm talking about where you have a move of God on the inside of you, where you experience the power of God, where you pray and you see provision, where you pray and you see healing manifest, where you pray and you see answer to your prayers. I'm talking about when you see God in action. That's what I'm talking about tonight. And I've come to tell you tonight, God wants to move in your life. God wants to move in your life. God wants to move in my life. The question is, do we have the greater mindset? Can we see the greater things God wants to do? Now listen to what Jesus said in Luke chapter 5, verse 37 to 39. And he's speaking about mindsets. The, 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 everything that he says here, you can actually just sum it up into having a greater mindset. Listen to what he says. And he says, no one puts new wine. Everybody say new wine. New wine. Into old wineskins, or else the new wine will burst and the wineskins will be spilled, and the wineskins will be ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. And no one having drunk old wine immediately desires new, for he says the old is better. What Jesus is saying is if there is to be new wine, it cannot be poured into old wineskins. Now, let me quickly explain to you. The idea behind this, what Jesus was saying. Back in biblical times, they would take animal skins and they would form wine skins. And, they, and these wine skins would become sacks. And then they would put wine in there. And people would consume the wine or drink the wine from these sacks. And a lot of times what would happen is as they drank and they consumed the wine from the sacks, over time the wine skin would start to become hard because it's leather. And as it started becoming hard, it would become brittle. And as it becomes brittle, it starts to crack. So what would happen is if you put new wineskin into old wineskins and it was old and brittle, what would happen is it would crack and the new wine would spill out. What Jesus is saying, if I want to do something new, how are you, Jay? It's good to see you. What God is saying is if I want to do something new, if I want to do a new thing, I can't do it with an old mindset. I can't put new wine into old wineskins. Your mindset is the limitation on what God wants to do. So tonight when we come here, do we believe that God hears us? Do we believe that God wants to do greater things? Do we believe that God wants to exceed our expectations? Do we have an expectation? Listen to what's the definition of a mindset. The definition of a mindset is a habitual or characteristic mental attitude that, to, that determines how you interpret and respond to situations. Let me read that again. A habitual or a characteristic mental attitude that determines how you will interpret and respond to situations. 
So it's, it's the way you see and perceive things. And according to that mindset, that's your response. Your, your response is dictated according to your mindset. I can tell you what a person's mindset is by the way they respond to negative situations, the way they respond to conflict, the way they respond to opposition, the way they respond to bad news. Some people have got a very negative outlook, so they immediately take things personal. It's, it's, they take it personal. The minute you say something that they don't like, they take it personal. That's their mindset. And other people see it as constructive. Okay, I like what's happening. This is a challenge. This is an opportunity for growth. What's the difference? Mindset. I want to tell you, your mindset will determine if you become a success or a failure in the kingdom of God. Okay? I want to read to you another scripture. Listen to what... Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 9 says, and this is God speaking about the way He thinks. Okay? This is God's mindset. Listen to this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. <laughs> you know, this encourages me. This tells me that I cannot think on the level that God thinks and I cannot dream on the level that God dreams. God's dream is bigger than my dream. <laughs> I can think of, if, I want you to do me something now. I want you to think of the biggest, most awesome breakthrough you could ever receive. Think about God moving in the most extraordinary way in your life. Just think about it. Think about all your prayers being answered. Think, and then God comes and says, I can supersede that. That's nothing. I can do more than that. And you know, I've seen that in my life. You know, I was speaking to my wife this month. Uh, the, not this month, this past weekend. And we were sitting talking. I said, if you told me nine months ago, this would happen, this would happen, this would happen, this would happen. I'd say, man, not a chance. And I said, I'm so grateful. God doesn't think on my level. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. His ways are higher than my ways. And you know, I've had to just get to the place where I say, okay, Lord, just do what you want. Just uh, look, Lord, just do what you want. I'm not going to limit you with my thinking. I'm not going to limit you with my mindset. I'm not going to limit you with how I perceive things. No, Lord, you do it. And whatever you do, I'm open to it. I'm going to believe you like never before. I'm going to dream big. I'm going to trust you for breakthrough. I'm not going to allow the circumstances of the world or the culture of society limit my faith i'm going to believe you for big i'm going to believe you for greater i'm going to believe you for provision i want to tell you god wants to provide i want to tell you god is going to heal i want to tell you god is going to deliver but do you have the mindset to receive what god wants to do listen to this Isaiah 43 verse 19 listen to what god says behold i do a new thing now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What God is saying is, I want to do a new thing. Can you perceive it? Can you see it? Can you see it? That thing that's bugging you, that problem that you're facing, that challenge that feels like it's overwhelming you, God says, it's nothing to me. It's nothing. He comes to an old man called Abraham who was far beyond the age of having children and his wife was barren and old and then he says, okay, I'm going to give you a child. So much so that Sarah laughs. <laughs> and, she's, and then God says, in, uh, he says in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, he says, is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard? Hmm. Today, tonight, I want to provoke you out of your mindset. Provoke you out of this limited thinking. God can do more. You've not even scratched the surface. Your testimony is not finished. God can do more. God wants to do more. But it's this mindset that limits us. Now when we start praying, pray big. I believe South Africa is going to be saved. I believe we're going to have a Christian president. I believe we're going to have a president that is filled with the Holy Spirit, standing upon the Word of God. What I want is I, I want to have that mindset. I want to think on the level that God thinks. I'm believing God that we're going to see a mighty outpouring of God's Spirit 
Churches are going to explode. Churches are going to begin to expand. There's going to be building expansion projects at every church and every ministry because there's so much people coming. I can see it. I can. I believe it. I can see my children one day serving the Lord. I can see them prospering. I, I see them being on fire for God and proclaiming the good news. I see it. I see it. I can't explain it to you. I see it in myself. I see it. I'm challenging you tonight. That dream, that goal, that desire. See it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not yet seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. I'm telling you now. Listen to what I'm saying. You've not dreamt your biggest dream. You've not prayed your most boldest prayer. You've not seen your greatest victory. And your best days are not behind you. With God. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 amen? It's time to enlarge that mindset for greater. Amen. 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 Welcome, Tando. Come, let's give Tando a hand, a hand clap. <laughs> Welcome, my sister. Okay, we're going to quickly pray. Is there any prayer requests? Anybody that's got prayer requests? Tando, yeah, is a chair here. Yeah. My sister, 